I come to you in humble main and down upon me knees, hoping you may pity me when I say pretty please. I'm not too proud to share the tale, what's befallen me of late. Just hear me out and I think that <coughs> you may yet commiserate. I was building up me house one day upon the towering heights. What thing could possibly go wrong? I knew all would turn out right. But best laid plans of gods and men when reality interferes. Go flying out the window or, as in this case, down the cliff, me dears. <laughs> my brothers tried to warn me as I hauled upon a rope. But gift of sea, those stones were free and within me financial scope. And so me labors went on and on throughout a sweaty day, with no pulley save the cliff's rough edge, that bloody rope it frayed. Now that lo load of stones cost me no coin, but with me sweat I'd paid, and the rope it was me only one, so that also might have swayed the stupid thing that I did next without the least forethought. I lunged and dove to catch the rope, and did when I ought not. So me feet were firmly on the ground for just a moment more. Behind me I heard brothers laugh as I raced down towards the shore. I signed his cross in earnest hope, though hope it quickly fled. And when I met the rocks below, for a wonder I was not dead. Oh, sure me collar and busted ribs for foolishness had paid. But a landing part on beaches sand me sorry life had saved. I might have salvaged rope and crawled up to new home once more. If only then a hellish wave had not crashed into the shore. But worse I haven't told you yet where me stones of net had caught. Net of stones. Near from a cliffside tree it hung above me resting spot. The ocean swell that swept me up, it slammed me at those stones and shook the tree, but not before, breaking twenty-three small bones. Ow. A miracle that I still lived as the wave receded then. I clung with straining fingers, but lost hold and fell again. I bid me stones and smallest tree, a fare thee well, my friends. Then as me nose and kneecaps went, I knew I'd met me end. <laughs> Still fate was crueler than me sibs, I lived and they yet laughed. A branch gave way to loose the stones, t'was Mr. Murphy's finest craft. And as they crushed my lungs and heart, the piss was drained from me. <laughs> For I heard a sudden creaking from the roots of that old tree. No insult led to injury, and tree had been struck twice. Still if it had stayed stuck to the cliff, I think that... I'd have surely thought that nice. It struck the stones and did me in. Now I've paid for me sins. So at longest last I've come to beg. Saint Peter, let me in. <laughs> <laughs>